Continuing the build of the super useless super micro based Opteron system, I have received the board back from Super Micro. They took a look at it and reported problem not found. They reflashed the BIOS, they checked it, blah 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 blah, they booted into Windows, everything worked on it. Which means it is most likely my CPU, which is uh, right here. This thing's probably defective. But we're going to give it a try just in case. Who knows? Maybe the BIOS reflash fixed whatever the problem was. I don't know. So uh, I'm going to get this thing put together one more time using some incredibly cheap thermal paste because I don't want to waste my good Noctua stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll just use some regular DDR3 to memory today. And, you know, I got my registered stuff here too if I need it. And yeah, so I'm just going to hook everything up and we'll see what happens. So I've basically rebuilt the system just with some different memory and wah, wah, nothing. CPU must be dead. Unfortunately, the cheapest CPU I found on eBay is like 30 bucks. So eh, maybe I'll just buy it. It's only a six core though. It's a newer version though. It's the um, 4300 series instead of the 42. But that's a little disappointing, and unfortunately everyone seems to be selling these things for like a hundred bucks plus, which seems a little crazy, because my understanding is that the bulldozer architecture isn't very powerful, so eh, I either have to wait until one shows up, or just bite the bullet and spend the thirty bucks on one that's not great. Uh, which I might do, since obviously they have a fairly high resale value, so I might just buy it and see if it works, and then resell it or just use it for a while we'll see but until then this is on hold